Arch Manning, you don't want him to have to be that. Whether he could be a similar stopgap is a little unclear. Like you noted, he had to play against some really good corners. He was the one that had to face the Anthony Hill blitz package. Uh, Malik Murphy did not get that as much. He didn't have, you know, the top receivers working against. He was thrown to like walk-on receivers. My uh, colleague at Inside Texas, Jerry Hamilton, noted that Sark probably needed Arch to have a quiet game to keep the national hype around him and him versus Quinn Ewers from reaching a fever pitch. So it's possible that Sark stacked the deck against Arch to forestall narratives developing. And uh, you have to keep that in mind. I know that sounds like a conspiracy theory, but if you don't think that there's a little bit of conspiracies going on in how coaches stack these spring games, then you just need to pay a little bit more attention because they are there. 